So the final technique to take you through for the symbolism tools is spraying. Yes, I know it sounds strange, but there is a tool called the symbol sprayer, which is very handy in certain situations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into this area and there is a tree if you've not spotted it yet. And it's just made of three lines with the pen tool and I'm going to select it. Now, everything in this document is pretty much locked away. So I'm only going to select just the tree artwork in there. And then I'll turn that into a symbol by clicking on the plus at the bottom of the symbols panel. I'll name this tree and leave the options as they are. And then I will click OK. Now, the nature of this symbol is that we need to add further symbols of its type. So we've got a bit of a forest area here. So I can do that and I can go back to the symbols panel. I can click and drag and I could add multiple copies, but it's very time consuming. There is an easier way and that is with the symbol sprayer tool. So I'm going to delete those because we don't need them. Make sure that my tree symbol is active in the symbols panel. I'll just zoom out and move my symbol panel just to the side out of the way. And then I'll head down to the symbolism tools, which you'll find in the lower quarter of the tools panel, or you can press the shift and S key on the keyboard. Now I would strongly recommend that when you do pick that tool, hover your cursor over the tool icon and double left click. And that will take you to the symbolism tool options. And if I go, first of all, up at, to the top, the diameter. Now I'm going to make that a little bit small. I'm going to change that to 20. But this occasion, I'm going to change the intensity to 10, the maximum. And I'm going to set the density to 10 as well and click OK. And I just want to show you what happens if you just click and hold down the left mouse button and keep it held down and let go. When you click and hold down the mouse, the intensity will define how quickly it will add a new symbol. And the density is how close they are going to be uh, added to one another. And in this case, I had both set to the maximum. So we get, um, well, something that doesn't even resemble trees anymore. I'll delete that, go back, double left click. And in terms of the diameter, I'm going to leave it set to 20. But for the intensity, I'm going to set that to 1. And then I'm going to set the density to one and click OK. This time I'll hover in the same space, click and hold down the mouse and notice now what happens. I'll let go of the mouse and this time we have this end result. Yes, it added less trees because I reduced how intense or how quickly it added new ones. But because the density was set very low, that means the lower the density, the further away it pushes each new symbol. So as I click and hold down the mouse, it adds a symbol. When the second one's added, it pushes the original one further and further away. Again, this is no good for us. So I'm going to hit the delete key, go back, double left click, and then density, I'm going to change that to 10 the maximum, but I'm going to leave the intensity set to one. And this time I'm going to reduce this even further. I'm going to set the diameter of the brush to 10 and click OK. This time I'll hover my cursor at the top of the green section, click and hold down the mouse and then drag through the region down to the bottom. In that case, I'm fairly happy with that. It's a great way to add multiple symbols, but it will take a little bit of tweaking along the way to get the tool to behave the way that you wish to.